Welcome to the Mosey Pro Tutorials. This tutorial is intended to give the viewer a high-level overview of the Admin Console and should be a starting point for all Admin Console administrators. The Admin Console is a web-based administrative console that facilitates easy account management and enables multiple users to be managed from a single location. When a customer signs up for a Mosey Pro business account, they enter their email address and password, and by default, they become the root administrator for their Mosey Pro account. They can log into the admin console by going to mosey.com forward slash login and entering their administrator login credentials, that is, the email address and password they used when they signed up. Before we take a look at the Admin Console itself, we first need to become familiar with the Admin Console terminology and structure. Let's use the following example. John Doe, who runs his own company called John Doe Tools and has a Mosey Pro account. As mentioned previously, when a Mosey Pro account is created, one user is assigned as the root administrator or root admin, and that person has full rights and privileges to oversee and manage the account. In this example, John Doe is the root administrator and his email address is mosytest11 at yahoo.com. User groups in the admin console allow users to be organised based on their billing plan, location or organisation. By default, when a Mosey Pro account is created, it has one user group called the default user group. John decided to group his users into user groups based on the department they work in. For example, User Group 1 for HR and Finance users, User Group 2 for IT users, and User Group 3 for Production users. John then created three additional administrators whom he assigned to manage each of the user groups, the HR and Finance admin, the Production admin, and the IT user group admin. A user is someone within the organisation who has a PC or machine from which they will use Mosey Pro to back up their data. A machine is the individual system that has the Mosey client software installed and will have data backed up from it. If the user has multiple machines, each machine is configured separately and requires its own license key and storage. A machine's allocated storage space or quota represents the amount of data that can be backed up from the machine or PC to the Mosey backend servers. So let's see what all this looks like in the admin console. As root administrator, John Doe logs into the admin console by going to mosey.com forward slash login and entering his admin login credentials. The dashboard displays two windows by default, the backups window and the machines window. The backups window displays two graphical representation of the company's backup history. The backup overview pie graph displays the number of successful backups within the last 24 hours, one week and over one week. The backups made in the last week graph displays the number of backups made during the last week and the days they were performed on. The machines window displays a list of the users machines that are currently registered to the John Doe Tools account, showing the machine name, the user, user group and storage used. If you want to minimise the views on the screen, click on the down arrow. To maximise, click on the arrow again. We can display information about John's users using the links under Users. For example, John Doe divided his users into three user groups based on the department they work in, that is, HR and Finance, IT and Production. We can display the user groups under Users in the left of the screen. Click List User Groups. If John wanted to create additional user groups, he can do so by clicking Add New User Group. He can also add a new user, and he can search and list all his users and their machines. John created three additional administrators and assigned one to manage each of the three user groups. He did this using the Add New Admin link under Admins. He was able to assign capabilities or privileges to these admins by 
adding a new role and assigning the role to the relevant admin. John can also use the list admins and list roles links to get more details about his admins and their roles. Resources fall into two categories, that is license keys and storage. John's users will want to back up the data on their machines and to do this he will need to have sufficient resources available to meet their needs. The resources links permit resources to be purchased and returned to Mosey, transferred from one user group to another and license keys can be assigned to users. Resources also provide links for John to view his billing information, history and change his credit card details. The client version is the version of the client that is loaded onto the user's PC and when a user backs up to the Mosey backend servers, the client will automatically upgrade to the latest version based on the upgrade criteria detailed under client version rules. If a machine does not match the rules, it will keep its current version. The admin console allows you to create a custom client configuration whereby you determine the options available to your users. For example, perhaps you might not want your users in a particular user group to use the local backup and to prevent this you can create a custom version for that user group whereby the feature is disabled. When the user downloads the client the feature will be removed. Thanks for watching this tutorial. We hope you have found it useful. The tutorial is intended to give a high level overview of the admin console. However, for more detailed tutorials on the admin console, please visit us at support.mosey.com.